welcome to my channel hope you guys are all doing really good in today's video we are doing a what's in my bag video I've never done one of these videos here on my channel and when I first started um, watching YouTube I wasn't even um, I didn't even have my channel but at the beginning when I discovered YouTube I used to watch these videos from like a lot of other youtubers and I remember telling myself why am I addicted to these what's in my bag videos um but i mean is it because we're nosy and we want to know what's in people's bags it's so weird <laughs> but i used to like watching them i mean i think that we're kind of entertaining just to see what girls carry in their bags because you know us girls we love our purses and we always carry necessary things and junk probably should be cleaning our bags out we'll carry all these random things um, and I know a lot of the times, you know, if you guys are like me, I don't always clean out my purse, so things accumulate. Uh, but ever since I became a mom, especially ever since I became a mom, it seems like you're going to always carry more stuff in your purse because you need stuff for your kids. Um, and that definitely changed for me. I remember like my bags, you know, they were very small. I used to just carry my phone, my keys, my wallet. But now, um, obviously, because I am a mom, I carry a bunch of stuff because I have the kids. I used to, um, I carried a diaper bag with my first, with my daughter. I remember my mom got me this really big terry cloth <laughs> juicy couture. Oh my God, I still have it. This terry cloth juicy couture um, diaper bag. And the thing was so big and so ridiculous i would carry things in there that i would never ever use and i think that's like a first mom type thing when you become a mom for the first time you carry all this stuff that you know you want to have with you in case you do use it you know in case you do need it and and sometimes you will need it but i remember having more than i needed and by the time i had my son i mean he's lucky i even carried a diaper i didn't carry much of anything when i had my son because i kind of was prepared and i knew what to carry you know um the car is a great place to keep stuff like that like you know extra diapers and you know white bees and stuff like that for the kids but in my actual purse i don't carry any of that stuff i just carry what i know i am going to need and use i got this bag for my birthday so it's not that old i haven't really accumulated like the trash underneath that we usually do after months and months of carrying around your purse i do carry bags like this uh, when I'm running around with the kids, it's just easier to have a book bag style bag so you can have your hands free. You know, someone sent me a message said, you should do a what's in my bag video. And I'm like, that's so old school. I want to do it. Let's take it back to old school YouTube and let me show you guys what's in my bag. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to open my purse and show you the first thing I have in here. Obviously, it's my wallet because the wallet is the one thing besides my keys. Um, but my keys aren't in here. My keys are right here. But besides my, um, the things that I carry in my purse, this is the one thing that I take out the most. So it's usually on the top of the purse. Um, I've had this wallet forever. I bought this wallet when I moved to North Carolina about 12 years ago in a boutique um, next to nearby the hospital where my daughter was um, living at, I guess you could say for three months, she lived in the hospital. Um, uh, this boutique that was going out of business and I bought it for dirt cheap. It's a Kate Spade old, old, old wallet and I love this wallet. A little wallet like this for me is like perfect. Some people still carry those big wallets, you know, like the checkbook wallets, but you know, who carries a checkbook anymore? Nobody uses checkbooks. So a wallet like this for me is nice because it's small or even smaller, I'm good with. As long as it holds your credit cards and you know, the basic thing, business cards you've accumulated, uh, a picture of my kids. Um, and here it has a little change area, which is good because I definitely always have change everywhere. Um, so a wallet like this is perfect for me. Um, the next item is my makeup bag. A makeup bag from NARS from when they had the Gaber Dean collection. I think that's how you pronounce the guy's name. It's a collect uh, collaboration with Gaber Dean. Now, I don't have a lot of makeup, but I will tell you that when I was in my 20s i used to carry my whole bag of makeup everything everything that i would have on my face i would have in my bag because i would touch up those are the days we didn't really play around with primers and setting sprays so our makeup would 
disintegrate or you know come off rub off so I would always touch up but now I only really carry my lipstick I don't really carry uh, that much makeup just some basic stuff I do have my NARS powder in case I touch up but I don't even do that I have a mirror in case I need it and my NARS powder brush again I don't even use it I use that more during the summer when I need to apply some powder on my t-zone but it's been a while since I've used that powder but this stuff I do carry is my fragrance this is the Miss Dior blooming bouquet I love this stuff um, this is their roll-on um, perfume so I carry this with me because I love to have my perfume in my bag um, I do carry this because um, I get chapped lips my kids get chapped lips um, this is a Vaseline all over body balm and face it guys you can't lose this I mean it's huge you find it right away in your bag so I do carry this everywhere I go um, and it lasts forever I have my NARS lip balm which is sheer there's no color to it which I like I also have my NARS concealer this is the only thing I really do touch up if I need it but again a lot of this makeup just hauls with me and I don't even use it. The only thing I do touch up is my lipstick. So I do have my lip liner and whatever lipstick it is that I'm wearing for that day, that is my sunscreen. And whatever lipstick it is that I'm wearing for that day. So those are the only like makeup items that I do carry. The next thing I carry is my glasses. Of course you have to carry sunglasses um, I carry these they're very practical they match everything I wear this is like my go-to sunglasses I have a very high sensitivity to daylight like a lot of light and lighting like this like I don't like to look at the light directly cool light is not so bad but like the sunlight oh it just kills me I have a very sensitivity to eyes so my doctor told me that my sunglasses need to be polarized. So these are the Ray-Ban polarized sunglasses that are practical, they go with everything, and very practical and simple. The other item I have in this bag is because this is hashtag mom life snacks. Some Ritz crackers because sometimes they get hungry and they get cranky because my kids, you know, they can get cranky, you know, sometimes um, when my son, especially, not really my daughter, my daughter's really cool and chill, super chill. But like my son, when we leave therapy, if he's had like a long day in the car, he will throw a fit. And this is my savior. Um, I have some shut up sticks, lolly, AKA lollipops. And some, um, these are the assorted fruit gummies from Mott's. So this stuff is always in my bag because if they're hungry or if they're cranky or, you know, it keeps them occupied and relaxed and calm. Um, I always have Altoids because I do makeup on customers and sometimes I'm like, I need this after my coffee. <laughs> so I have Altoids um, or sometimes I have to share with customers. Um, of course, nowadays you have to have, which I always, always have this in my bag I always have like sanitizer I mean now they're big on it obviously because of the virus that's going around but this is something I have always always carried and I've always practiced with my kids I mean I even have a timer for them that when we wash our hands see this goes back to my daughter when my daughter was in the NICU when I would visit her every day you walk into the main front desk and after the front desk next to the front desk was a sink and it would tell you there that you have to sing your ABCs and wash your hands throughout the entire ABC song so that's the only way you can actually visit your kids and depending on how critical your kid is you have to wear um, protection garment um, over your clothes because there's very fragile kids in there um, very sick kids luckily for my daughter you know I only had to wash my hands 
you know really really good and wash your hands and you know hair pulled back kind of like just be clean you don't want to obviously be running around all day and then go visit your child in the NICU so it was something that I would do every single morning when she was there for three months um, so washing my hands sanitation and all that that's like really 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 big and in, in for me and my family because we practiced that a lot when my daughter was born so I always have all this stuff like I have so much of this and um, you know sanitation um, Purell and alcohol and all that stuff and this timer is really good guys if you have kids and you're trying to teach your child you know washing your hands you have to you know they don't really have a concept of time so you want to have like a little timer like this and set it there on the sink and say hey you have to wash your hand until all the sand comes to the bottom works great for brush uh, brushing your teeth as well because again they don't know the concept of time like my daughter she'll go to the sink and grab the toothbrush and she'll put it in her mouth and rinse because she's done but you have to teach them that they have to do it for a very long period of time so washing hands taking your time doing these things that require you to be clean is something that I've always done way before all this was around um what do I have here a paper oh this is from speech therapy the letters and the words that my daughter is learning some ending sounds some beginning sounds plurals and you know some words that she's trying to perfect um i have more lip balm this is the hemp's lip ultra moisturizing lip balm i always have lip balm in my bag and of course hand cream this is the toka bianca hand cream i just like to have my hands moisturized because i clean them so much so moisturizer cream is good i have my headphones for the gym that I always carry with me I have a little pill box because I get migraines guys I always carry my medicine with me well here you go this stuff is no joke this is tiger bomb I don't know um, if you guys are familiar with tiger bomb this is like an ointment that you can put in the temple of your um, you know your temple of your of your forehead and it really penetrates in the skin and it's very strong it's gonna be very strong it almost feels like a burning sensation but this is what helps me when I have a migraine because again I told you guys I'm sensitive to light and plus I've gotten older too I think because I've had two kids and I'm older I, I get more migraines I get them every month still so I always have migraine medicine on me I have an hourglass ambient radiant light I don't know why I have this in my purse but I do it's just a shimmering powder I'm telling you, I collect stuff that I don't need. Another hand cream. This is Hand Relief Moisture Cream from Alveda. Or Alveda, however you say it. A brush, because I need to brush my hair. That's one thing I do uh, do sometimes, is brush my hair through the middle of the day. This is a really handy dry bar brush. And I have a pen, because I always go through the drive through of the bank and never have a pen with me. And now I always do. A receipt for oh something that I altered uh, alterations and the, whatever's on the bottom here is just some change and that is it you guys that is it for what's in my bag video so I want to talk to you guys about a couple things um one of them is this really cool if you guys like um piercings if you have piercings if you like nice denty earrings little small cute earrings there's this um website it's called hip urban style they have the cutest cutest earrings i don't know about you but i love jewelry i love i've been really into jewelry a lot more lately i've always been into jewelry but more so lately you know i've had my piercings now for over a year or about a year and look how cute i just got these in today in the mail this is my son's name because you know he's the man in my life <laughs> i leave mine on i shower with them they have the ball backing so you could sleep with them because when you have piercings in your cartilage it's not good to remove the earrings you have to keep them on i got these in today and i love them and i wanted to share it with you guys um what else did i need to talk to you guys about now that i am here 
Oh, you guys, also, before I forget, um, I know I'm gonna get questions on my nail polish. Forgive me, because I get questions on the color of my nail polish a lot, and I always said I'm gonna list it down below or mention it in the video. I am wearing the new OPI nail polish. This is the this is the one from OPI Mexico City. They just launched it. This yellow one, I went to two Ulta's looking for it and I couldn't find it. Finally, I found it in my third one. Um, this is called Don't Tell a Soul. Love the new Mexican collection because the colors are so bold and so vibrant. But yes, that's what I have on today. That concludes this video. I hope you guys are all doing really good and you're staying safe and you're home, staying home is really not a bad thing i personally love it when this when staying home is becoming almost mandatory sign me up <laughs> um i like staying home i like to be with my kids and just chill you know but um i hope you guys all stay safe take care of yourselves and your family and your loved ones and i guess i'll be seeing you guys in my next videos Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it and subscribe on your way out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hi guys. Did you wash your hands? I did. You did? Good. Wash them again.